Hey guys, and welcome back to Resident Evil. When we last left off, we were about to go through here. Um, let's just dive right in, shall we? We've less left Baza examining the corpse of Enrico. Right, I think that's where we get the flamethrowers, Chris. Oh god, yeah, remember that. Run! Um... Hmm. Now, the boulders. I remember the boulders. Yep, there we go. Right, there we go. <sighs> okay, so... That looked like it presented us with flame rounds, which is fine but I'm pretty sure when Jimmy had the same yep just heard the doors go what does that present us with one shit double tapped right he's gone yep there's more of course there's more there's always more right you're done. Get up, you bastard. Oh, you fucker. Wasting too many grenade rounds on these things. Right, I count two. Two corpses. That's fine. Too many grenade rounds are being wasted. But hey, I mean... Ugh. I guess, for now, that's okay. Right, anything through here? No, oh, this is the... We need an item box. Kind of. It should be okay. It should be okay. Oh, we probably didn't have to fight those guys. Now, this is Black Tiger. Black Tiger is a dickhead. And a bit of a silly boy, but hopefully, I hope there's nothing here. I thought there was pickups in this room. I know there's a knife. Yeah, that's all there is. So, my friend Jimmy discovered you can get him to destroy his own webbing, which I never knew about, but it's pretty cool. I never knew anything about that. I mean, it's not foolproof, because he can quite easily hit you, because he does have that scatter shot thing going on. Oh, come on. Okay, I think he hit, I think he hit it there. It's kind of a little bit pointless fighting this guy, to be honest. Oh, God. Okay, 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 okay. I kind of want to pull him away from the door if I can. Can we pull him away from the door? Come on, you bitch. Get the hell away from her, you bitch. Oh, aliens. Get away from her, you bitch. I love aliens. Such a good series. Well, it was such a good series before they fucked it up with Prometheus. But hey, that's what they do with films. They ruin them. Okay, I think the webbing is almost gone. Just a little bit left. If we had a little bit of space, I would probably pick... Oh, God. Pick the knife up. Come on. Okay, okay. I think that's all that is glinting on the bowels there. It's just a knife, so... A knife. Go on. Yes, there we go. And we don't have to fight him now. <laughs> Fuck you, Black Tiger. You dick. Okay, so I think that's the save room here, which is nice. I think, as Chris, you have to put the flamethrower back, otherwise the door doesn't open. Oh, no, save room through here. I think you go down to it. Oh, no, you go up to the save room. I remember. I'm good at remembering things. He lied. So we have... Oh no, this is not to the save room. 
This is to where we need the medallions. Uh, ooh, we have herbage. We like herbage. We have a lot of health, guys. And a lot of ammo. I think we're going to be alright. Now, the tyrant is going to be a massive cock. We know that. We expect that. Um, so, what's down the other end? Because we haven't yet... Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh, uh-huh. We haven't yet got the other thing that we need. We really need to jiggle our junk around before we do too much. So, let's go back through this door. So, the save room must be on the opposite side. Man, my old brain is failing. Yeah. So, let's go back this way. And, uh, Jimmy, um, that tactic you discovered about getting Black Tiger to acid away his own door. Man, what a fucking champion idea that is. What a champion idea. Okay, so we don't need that. We... We don't need that one, I don't think, anymore. At least I'm fairly confident we don't need that. We don't really need the flame ammo. Not now. Mm. Mm. We'll take a herb. Actually, there's a herb close to where we were. There's a blue herb there. We don't need it. We will take the F8 spray and stick it in the box because will we need it? Probably. I would say that's a hard 95% that we will need that. Um, right. F8 spray. Uh, let's pick up the ribbons as well, because why not? Definitely don't need that blue herb, because I don't think there's any more poisonous enemies left in the game. Not that I can think of. Right, let's put you back. There really is enough uh, saves in this game, isn't there? Um, I was talking to Jimmy about that, like my apprehensions about the amount of save uh, ribbons and things. And he was like, there's plenty in the game. And I was like, mm, okay. Yeah, <laughs> there really is. Now, I have completely seen his uh, playthrough at this point. I must uh, point that out. But I saw his Chris playthrough, so it is different. Um, right. There is a hex. Yep, we know there's a hex. You can't... That That is the hex, though. Surely, that's the hex. Yes, that is the hex. Hex crank. Yes. Yes. Yeah. You can't use it here. Why? Do we have to be here? Yeah, I guess we have to be on this screen. Sure. Come on, Jill. Work that crank. Crank it, Jill. Crank it. Alright, not bad. Now, we have to run like a mofo. Pretty sure. No? I can't remember when this triggers now. Uh. Yep. Triggers there. Come on, come on. Oof. Okay. Oof. <laughs> Boom. Now, does that do anything? No, it doesn't. You know, it's interesting that boulders have been such a thing in Resident Evil. Because they use them in Resident Evil 4 to try and squish Leon. They use them in Resident Evil 5, obviously. You know, that's where Chris got memed. Um... Yeah, boulders have been a big thing in Resident Evil lore. So, I think, I'm sure there's a secret room or something. If we crank this again, I'm sure there is. Come on, Jill. Work that crank. 
And I can't help but notice that her trousers that she's wearing there, her jeans, look an awful lot like the ones that uh, Claire has in Resident Evil 2. Uh, not Resident Evil 2, Resident Evil Code Veronica. And I'm kind of looking forward to getting back to Code Veronica, actually. That was a great game. Yeah, I'm sure there's something on this side. Yes, indeed there is. Is this room going to be full of hunters? Hmm. Oh. What is in here then? We do need the crank. So, you can't use it here. A hex. Yes, it is a hex. Don't play with me, game. Ah, right. Wrong way. Okay, I got you. I got you, big papa. Put that bastard back. And we're going to have a hard push. Right. Oh. Uh, no, don't. Why couldn't we get... Ah. <sighs> God damn it. Okay, hang on. Let's reset this room. Then we're going to go back in. As you're really close to the end of this game now. Um, at least closer than we was, <laughs> obviously. Now, I don't think my end time is going to be super accurate because there have been a few times where I've left this game running um, after a video when I've gone to get coffees and, and that sort of thing. So. I don't know what our end time's actually going to be like. Okay, let's put it there. And then I haven't been too bothered about trying to get a good time. I would like under five hours or under six hours, but I don't know. I guess it doesn't really matter as long as um, as long as we actually, you know, beat the game. That's all we can ask for in these hard, unforgiving times. Yeah, because in the remake, you actually had to move this around as well. Had to be in the right orientation. Ah, the lab key. That's where the fucking lab key was? So that wasn't a secret room. We actually had to come in here. I, I, I'm trying to remember what was in there in the actual legit game. And I can't remember. So... Hmm, we have everything we need. Oh, yes, we do. We do have the blue book as well. I was going to say we don't have the wolf medal, but no, we do, we do, we do. Um, talking of the wolf medal, we better go back and get that. We're actually doing fairly well. At least I think. And we won't have any more hunters to deal with. Oh, sweet. Sweet Jesus. No more hunters. Can you even imagine that? Can you imagine a, a world where we don't have to deal with hunters anymore? Oh, God, it's going to be good. Right, we will take the shot. We don't need the grenade launcher. Hmm. Or do we? No, we don't need the grenade launcher. I was going to say, I don't know if they've mixed it up and they've, they're they going to just fucking throw hunters at us. I don't think so. Because that would be a massive cunty thing to do. But, but this game is a bit of a dick penis, so, you know. Hmm. Now my inventory's gone out of whack, which is confusing me. Clip, there we go. Uh, we've got that, we've got that. Okay, we should be good with all of this stuff. I think. Uh, we're just about to use these. Yep. So we're gonna have, we're gonna have five slots free. Which is good. We've got enough to pick up those herbs, which is just what we wanted. All right, we don't want the blue herb because there shouldn't be any more poisonous enemies. I mean, I, like you say, I'm not 100% sure if um, if we're going to have any 
mix-arounds or mixer-uppers. Or if we're just going to have a straight run now with zombies. I know obviously we have the uh, the tick guys, I can't remember what they're called, um, in the power area. They suck, but we should more or less be able to just run past them, I hope. Um, now, the only thing is, in the lab, there's a lot of zombies. A lot of zombies. But, luckily, we've got the Brer for that. Uh, we don't want the blue herbs. We don't care about the blue herbs. Do we care about the blue herbs? I don't think we care about the blue herbs. I don't care about the blue herbs. I'm not going to care about the blue herbs. We have so many blue herbs. And we're going to eat one of these herbs straight away anyway. So, you know. Mm, eat your greens. Good girl, Jill. Good girl. Eat your greens. Now... In the Game Boy port that was uh, leaked, that I did actually play, um, this is about as far as you could realistically get. Once you got this far, everything kind of went to shit. And the game was just too bugged out. Unless it's been patched since the years and years have passed since I've played. Okay. Right, can we go down? Thank you. Alright, once more guys, into the lab. Moving swiftly towards the end game. I mean, we've got plenty of ammo. Uh, I think. I wouldn't say we've got buckets of ammo, but we, we, we're not doing terribly. Okay. So here we are, and of course the door is tightly locked. There's a plate on the right hand side, yep, but there's fuck all we can do with that yet. There should be a box room down here. I am so not looking forward to the tyrant, I've seen how hard he is. There's the item box, uh, now nah, we'll roll with this. We've got the undead zombies to deal with. The shamblers. Ooh. Ooh. I remember this now when Jimmy was playing. Yes, there's a lot more zambles in here. Yep. Yeah, maybe we will switch up. There should be... Yeah, there's herbs there as well. There's so many herbs in this game. Come on, buddy. Come on. He's down. Uh, he's dead. Nice. Now, can we, we can't go into that yet because we need to unlock it. Yeah, electronically locked. We have got that. The slide cartridge. It will tell us the passwords. But the passwords, I believe, are Ada and Mole. So that's fine. Um, right, let's go deeper underground. We are going to exhaust our ammo really quickly down here. And in all fairness, maybe we should have grabbed the shotgun. Yep. Now the sound these things make is horrifying. Absolutely horrifying. And they do respawn to a degree. You can kill them all. And eventually, from what I remember, they do stop coming. But there's a lot of them. And so much for the ammo we had. Are you dead? You're not dead. Yeah, that's so harrowing. There are some ink ribbons here, I think. Yeah, but... Uh, no. We don't want the ink ribbons. Not today. Now, I think that key we have is for this door. No, it's not. It's for this door? Yes. Uh, yeah, we chuck that. And I think this is going to take us nicely up to the save room, which means we can get our shotgun back. And we want that shotgun. Come on. I know there's zombies in here. 
Yep, he's coming. He's coming. Come on, buddy. Come on. Come on. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, you love to see it, guys. You love to see it. Right. Ooh. Ooh. Spicy. Oh my god, what is that? What what is what's going on here? That is just sexy. That is pure sexiness right there. Right, that's the way to the tyrant. This is a save room. Let's see what's in the save room for us. What have we drawn? Is the game going to be nice? Uh, we have some flame rounds. I mean, I, I guess we could use some of these flame rounds. I suppose. We'll take the herb. We've come through this with more fucking healing stuff than we're ever going to need. Well, that's probably not true. We probably are going to need it, but we're going to have so much healing uh, that we can't carry it. Now, these fire rounds are not that useful on the tyrant, I don't think. So, the Beretta is just bingo now, so we will keep a herb on us. And, oh, we can't. Yeah, I was going to say, uh, we'll, we'll use some of these on the zombies, because that would be fun. But we can't, because our bazooka has explosive ammo in it, I think. Hmm. That's a kick in the knickers. Oh, my God. Look at the ammo we have here. Oh, have we missed a modisk? Oh, you fucker. Have we missed a modisk? I might have to go back. If we have. We've only got one modisk. Look at all this flame ammo we have. This would be loads of fun. To just use all this now. But I guess. Computer says no. Because we can't swap out ammo. What actually is in the. Bazooka. It's got a full pack of six as well. You know what? Let's just use the fucking bazooka because why not? Um, now we've got the herb on us. We can go do this puzzle. We've still got seven bazooka rounds. We've got all that magnum ammo. I think the trouble is we've got so much ammo and we're actually running out of, uh, you know, things to use it on. Oh, oh, shotgun shot and a red. Oh, a red. That's nice. Yes. We do like the reds. Aye. And there's some shotgun shells, which apps are freaking lootly, I guess. Okay, cool. Uh, now. Oh, I fucking hate this puzzle. <sighs> and I know I'm not the only one that hates this puzzle. I know there's at least one other person that hates this puzzle. Yeah? Am I right? I mean, they've, as, as you mentioned, there's definitely a better camera angle here. If we just go over that, does that activate the gas? I'm pretty sure that does activate the gas if we accidentally step on that thing. Yeah, we can't. Okay. Right. Let's move that that way. Oh, I can't remember the fucking solution to this now. Uh, that's not it, Chief. Oof. This is a dick of a... Yeah, that's not right. Okay. Shit. Uh, now, we do need to do this, obviously. Let's try and think what we can push. I'm pretty sure as well. We cannot. 
we cannot step on that or push anything on that. Yeah, poison gas is escaping. Yeah. 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 So we do need to make sure the boxes have covered that up before we fiddle with it. Got ya. That was for science. Are oh, we actually on fine? Okay. I was expecting us to be on uh, orange caution at least. Hmm. So we need to move these out of the way, I think. Definitely gonna have to shift this out of the way. But shift it out of the way in a manner that we can still, you know, oof, get to it. <sighs> Fucking hate this puzzle. Have I mentioned that yet? Uh, we need to push that forward. Get that up there. Because we do need to be able to slip past this, I think. Okay. Right, that's fine. I think. Uh, it's not going to be fine, though, is it? Hmm. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Right, let's stick that down there. That should be just about fine. Okay. I guess, maybe. And then we can push this over here like that. And then up and around. That should just about be right. Might just neaten that up a little bit. Like so. Perfect. I say perfect. I mean, it's not really. Now, let's push this back. More or less into the position that we want it to be. Maybe another nudge. Hey, come on, Jill. Jill, Jill. There we go. Like so. Right, so we want to leave that about there-ish. And, come on, there we go. There we go. Now, have you there? I think we've cracked it. I think we've cracked it, boys. I think we've cracked it. Okay. Yeah, more or less. That should be it. That should be it. Again, it's not as bad as you think it is originally, but I just don't like those puzzles. I think they're annoying. There we go. That works. It's not perfect, but it works. There's an air shaft. Will you enter it? Yes, I like entering shafts. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, that's fine. You can take a chunk out of my leg. I thought he was further off than that, to be honest. Oh, you take so much damage from that. What do we have here? Is that... Oh, <laughs> fuck it. Why not, man? Yeah, sure. Why the fuck not? Um. Oh, oh, careful. Yeah, you're fucked. Now, that's a Modisk. It's a passcode output machine. If I had a Modisk, I could get the code. Okay. Is that all that's here? I guess it is. So I guess we don't actually need to come in here. I mean, we will. But I, I've also got a horrible feeling that I have forgotten. Hey, friend. You're in a really shit position for us, aren't you? You know, more shit position for yourself, mind. Um, yeah, it's possible that if we use ex fire ammo, that might be the rub. If we use fire ammo, these guys don't come back. It's something like that. Or if we just straight up, you know, blow them up. Now, in this room is hell on earth. I remember this much. 
Okay, not quite the hell on earth I thought. For some reason I was expecting, uh, I don't know, a whole room full of zombies. Well, his ass is grass. Right, let's shift this away. There's a switch. Will we push it? Yeah. That makes the room go blue. Oh, there's a herb here. Don't mind if I do. When in Rome, do as the Romans do. Consume vast quantities of herbs, apparently. Don't worry, they weren't specific. Oh, did that take us back up to... Yeah, that took us back up to good fine. And tree, apple, man, woman. Now, of course, uh, if we turn this light off, that should give us the code. I. It's too dark to see anything. Oh, right. Uh, okay, maybe not. Can't quite remember how that works, but... Anyway, research his letter. Dear Ada. Ada, by the time you read this, I'll be something different. Today's test turned out to be positive, just as I expected. I feel like going crazy when I think about becoming one of them. Ada, you're not infected, and I hope you never will be. In case you are the last one left, take the material in the visual data room and go to the power room to operate the triggering system before you escape. And make sure all of this public and make all of this public through the media. If everything is in order, all the locks can be opened by the security system. You can access the security system if you log in with my name from the terminal. In the small lab and enter the password, the password is your name. To unlock the door at B2 where the visual data room is located, you'll need to access with our names first and then enter another password. That's it, John, Ada, and then Mole. I've written the code below. I'm sure you'll understand it easily. And this is my last hope. If you find me completely changed, please kill me yourself. Password. The password is Mole. John Ada. Yep, that's pretty self-explanatory. Is there anything in this box? I thought there bloody was. Will you take the clip? Why not, I suppose? Oh, two clips. Really? Okay, I knew there was something in there, but I didn't think it was two clips. I thought it was one. That's fine. Now, we're, I'm going to have to go back through a large portion of this game, I think, to get the bloody... Ah, it's electronically locked. Yeah. To get the MoDisc that I've uh, forgotten. Luckily, we can go back. <sighs> Fuck. Because I think there's three MoDiscs. Yeah, see, is this zombie? No, that zombie's come back to play. Um, that room we've been in. Now, let's go save the game. We're going to call it there for now. I think we've done quite a bit. So the difficulty so far in this game comes down to the hunters. I'm guessing that the tyrant is going to be the last bit of difficulty. Oh, boy. Um, right. So let's save the game and see what happens. Uh, we've got more fucking magnum ammo. I don't know what we're going to do with all this magnum ammo, to be honest. Kind of tempted to just take it with us. We are not going to want that. We are... Where's the magnum rounds? 36. We've got nearly 50 rounds of the magnum. I think that's probably going to be enough. Got 48 rounds of the Magnum. That will be enough for the Tyrant. Should be enough for both fights. I hope. Shotgun shells. I mean, we've got the shotgun. Oh, fucking hell. I forgot about the shotgun. Actually did forget about the shotgun. What's actually in our shotgun? What's left in that bad boy? Um... I don't know. Seven. Right. <laughs> so we've got just under 40 shotgun shells. Uh, 
Okay. Oh my god, we've got like... Oh, we've got so many grenade rounds as well. Oh. Fuck. Okay. Uh, we'll take... We're going to keep the rocket launch... Uh, the bazooka because it's just fun. Um... Hmm. I mean, the reason that we have so much ammo, let's make it clear, and we're going to put the MoDisc in our back pocket as well. The reason we have so much ammo is because um, we avoided a lot, and I mean a lot of the enemies. We could have fought Black Tiger. We didn't. We could have fought Yawn. We didn't. We could have fought... Well, I mean, technically we fought him the second time. But we could have fought... Um, what's his face? Uh, all of those other hunters and whatnot. We didn't. So we're actually in pretty bloody good shape. So, thanks for watching, guys. And as always, till next time.